，训练远距离，超凡缩写力。这是超凡远距学员英语学习的日常。Hello, it's time for topic master. Our theme this week is childhood. It is the time when we begin to learn a lot of simple but important things in our life. Let's quickly take a look at the first question. Do you think you have a happy childhood? Why or why not? Explain with an example. Having a happy childhood is a wonderful thing. When you were little, you felt happy and you saw people around you laugh to each other but not shout at each other. You had a very good start of your life. So please give an example to tell people. Why you were happy in your childhood? On the other hand, if you don't have a happy childhood, tell people what happened to you when you were little. Question two: Tell a childhood story of yours. Talk about what happened and when, where, how it happened. You may talk about a trip or an adventure you take, the pets you have, a memory you share with your good friends. And so on. Question three: What was your childhood dream? For example, many children want to be doctors or scientists when they grow up. Well, parents often tell their children to be a successful person. For example, a doctor, a scientist, or even the president. Our children may hope to be a superhero after watching TV or movies. What is your childhood dream? Share with others. Question four: What is your best childhood memory? How does it affect you or change you? This question is much like question two, but maybe it's not a story, but a thing that you enjoy doing, a person you enjoy being with, or a dog you enjoy playing with as a child. Talk about how it affects you. Or changes you. Question five: What is your worst childhood memory? For example, you got lost or you were punished. Question four is about something memorable that happened to you when you were little. While question five is about something terrible that happened to you when you were little. Maybe you were left sleeping at home. Alone, and when you woke up, nobody was around, or maybe you got lost somewhere. Question six: Who do children usually learn the most from? Explain with your example. Children learn from people around them, including grandparents, parents, sisters, brothers, relatives, teachers, classmates, friends, and so on. Who do you think is the one that children learn the most from? You can talk about your personal experience. Question seven: What did you usually hope your parents to do or not to do when you were little? When you were little, you might have a lot of strange ideas. Sometimes your parents let you do what you wanted to do. Sometimes they didn't let you. For example, you wanted to eat McDonald's, play video games, or visited your auntie, and so on. So, were you able or unable to do the things you wanted to do? Question eight: What could be the best thing or the worst thing that happens to children? Explain why. Hmm. The best thing is probably a very happy childhood, and loving family members. And the worst thing might be a family full of quarrels. What else do you think is the best or worst thing that happens to children? Question nine: What are good parents? What do they do or say? Explain with examples. Everyone has different parents. You can talk about what your parents did, so that you think they were good parents. Or, on the other hand, what did your parents do, so you think they were bad parents? The last question: 
are your parents strict? Give an example to show they are strict or they are not strict. Strict parents could still be good parents. Do you think your parents are strict? Hmm. What do they do to make you think so? Are they good or bad even if they are strict? These are the 10 questions open for discussion this week. Hopefully, through this discussion, every one of us learns how to be a better parent and how to give a happy childhood to children. 加入超凡远距，成就超凡英语缩写能力。